Now, a lot of people ask me what I think of Mayor Osborne, but what matters is what you think. Let's ask our first caller. You're on with J. Jonah James. Hi, I think Mayor Osborne's doing a terrific job. He's cleaned the city up and expanded the economy. With all due respect to the office of mayor, the police cleaned up the city. And entrepreneurs boosted the economy. I do approve of many of the mayor's initiatives, like cracking down on quality of life crimes and reducing red tape. But I think he takes credit for a lot of things other people do. He's ambitious, which is not a bad thing. But I always say, be careful of people with agendas. We used to have a vigilant press to keep politicians honest, but it's a shadow of its former self. Now all you've really got is me. analyzes hazardous chemicals and basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world which <coughs> hopefully they never will oh no someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant and they must have cracked the container because it's leaking from the timestamp on the security cameras it just happened I need to get it back my spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe. Maybe not. End of the trail. He's a, he's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. Yo, Spider-Man, you don't need Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make him cost effective, they'd be a big help. Goes back where it belongs. I beefed up the station's security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away.
This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um... Well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Sorry about that. The zipline webs seem fine. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. You'd think these people never saw a guy jogging on walls. Okay. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway, but the bacteria won't survive that long. Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station. Should have my web swinging back. Let's see.
what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. There's the testing receptacle, full of plastic. Let's see what happens. It's working. Not as fast as I'd hoped, but better than before. Probably needs further testing. Didn't get all the plastic, but it's a big step forward. Enough for Oscorp to keep working on it. They'd win the Nobel Prize. And it wouldn't hurt their stock price either. Hey Pete, this station's one of my pet projects. I always thought the cellular network was vulnerable to terrorist attacks, so I set this up to monitor it. Can you do me a favor? Look for anything suspicious. Uh-oh. It's not terrorists, but there's a glitch in the system that's causing interference. And if I don't fix it, it'll bring the whole network down. Right now it's only affecting the most sensitive equipment, like mine. I need to stay outside the areas of interference while I fix the cell towers. I set my lenses to show me the danger zones. Gotta fix the cell towers before the whole city's comms go down. The size of the problem area fluctuates. I need to be ready for a sudden change. One down. But I'll need to fix three more to solve the problem. I can use those helicopters to swim. So much depends on cellular networks now. A crash would affect police, hospitals. It'd be as bad as a blackout. Gotta hurry. Soon the whole system's gonna go. Got it. The job's only halfway done. Oh man, I wish there was a way to fix this for everyone except people who use their phones in movie theaters. The problem's getting worse. I'm running out of time. Invisible walls closing in. I feel like a mime. Got that one fixed. Bought me some time, but I can't slow down. Can't waste a second. Getting to be a tight squeeze. Okay, let's 
not do that again. Bam! Now New Yorkers can share their domestic disputes on the subway again. And emergency services are safe, which is, you know, also important. If the network had crashed, it would have cost Oscorp a bundle to fix their comms. They'll want to keep this station up and running. Harry's project should be safe. We've got an armed robbery. Please respond. Location is north end of Chinatown. This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them. <coughs> okay, got that one. <coughs> should do it. <coughs> oh, don't die. Don't die. <coughs> That's it. <Phew. coughs> okay. Looks like we have three guilty parties. I we'll need to get pictures of them for proof. Taking pictures. Just like the old Bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. One down. That's a keeper.
the hat trick. All set. That'll get a recall ordered, courtesy of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city's system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread, you know? Whoa, the pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Huh, even better than duct tape. Got it. Call me the Amazing Spider Plumber. Just in time. Nailed it. Last one, but those won't hold long. Pressure shouldn't be that high. Unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Now I ask. How many other heroes fight crime and fix your shower? And now Oscorp can't deny Harry Station stopped a public utility meltdown. I hate to bother you. 
I got a motor, but man, so I... Hey pal, this station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm, readings are troubling but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track, just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it.
ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I think I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Nice, it's worked. <coughs> Breathing this stuff in, not good. Couple more barrels. Uh, last one. <laughs> Gotta stay above this stuff. <laughs> uh, that's it. Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. Could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration points in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Can I get an autograph? Oh, 
Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals. It'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. And one more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I better scan some pigeons to make sure. Did it. No zombie pigeons. Huh. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. You ought to check that Oscorp research station. I heard there's a rumor there's radioactive stuff in them. Appreciate the tip. Spider fanboy tried to troll me, as the young people say, by claiming Spider-Man was providing a public service plugging leaks in water towers. Let me tell you why this itsy bitsy brain spider was climbing this particular water spout, people. Because he tampered with the water pressure system. He was seen early. So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. should really bring back sign painting. Gotta hit each screen individually.
explosions would make these ads more interesting. Definitely a target-rich environment. Phew. Now that the threat's passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so... I bet this station's in the clear. Involving civilians trapped in their vehicles. Report came in from Lennox Hill. Car wreck down there. Should let fire and rescue do their jobs. Thanks. This is one of my labs that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but it's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building, and the tallest one around is Oscorp. I wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time.
took the gun. I am not eager to repeat that, but I have to. Hurry back. Got an itchy web finger. It's tailored to the toxic algae. Won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. Man, I was hoping you were really Spider-Man. That cheap suit ain't fooling anybody. I have received unsettling reports of Spider-Man in our public parks, where children play, apparently, stalking pigeons. Yes, wild pigeons. You may wonder if he's gone insane, a perfectly valid question, but have you heard of the Goliath bird-eating spider? I'll spare you the gory details, but it's a spider big enough to devour birds. Now, Spider-Man sticks to walls like a spider, he jumps like a spider, what else does he do like a spider?
All units, we have a vehicle pursuit in progress. Any officers near Midtown North, please copy. Officers, be advised. 